Hi, I'm John Orlando, and I'm going to show you a way of setting up quizzes in Canvas that allows you to give different students different versions of the same question. Now, I'm going to show it to you in Canvas, but this process for doing this is very similar in Blackboard and possibly other systems as well. It's just the terminology is different, but at least for Blackboard, there are similar functions to do this. Now this involves using a couple functions that aren't used much in uh, quizzes in a learning management system and they should be used more and I'll show you why. First off, what we're going to do is instead of creating a quiz, we're going to create a question bank. So we're going to come up here, we're going to click here, we're going to click manage question banks. A question bank is just a bucket that holds questions. It's just a place to hold questions. The main faculty don't use question banks. Instead, they'll just build the quiz and put each question into the quiz uh, as they're making it. But you should use question banks for a couple reasons. One is the questions you make in a question bank are available to you in any course within the Canvas LMS. So if you're teaching 10 courses, your question bank follows you because it follows your profile. So you can actually reuse questions in different courses. That's not true if you build the question inside a quiz because a quiz is course specific. Plus, you can reuse questions across the same course as well. So maybe you want to uh, use questions for a quiz during the first, second week, and then reuse a few of them during the midterm. You can do that if you create a question bank, because once you have a question bank, you can pull questions from it for any quizzes you want, multiple quizzes if you want. The important point here is that in order to give students different versions of the same question, each question will have to be put into its own question bank with multiple versions of that question. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to click Add Question Bank, and I'm going to give a name Voice Feedback. Now I'm going to put some questions in. So I'll click it, and I'll click Add a Question. So we'll just call this question one. And the question is, voice feedback has been shown to. So I'm gonna say improve comprehension, which is the correct one. So we indicate that with the green arrow here. Take more time than text feedback, which is not correct. Be good for correcting errors, which is not correct and not work with foreign languages, which is not correct. Okay, so we got our question. We click Update Question. Now we're going to create another version of the same question. So I simply add a question. I'll call this Question 2. Now when you're making different versions of the same question, there are really a couple different ways to vary it. One is to use the exact same question and provide different possible answers. The other is to uh, use different versions of the same question. So for instance, if it's a math problem, you just might use different values for different versions of that question, but the functions and everything else would be the same. So I'm gonna do the former in this case. I'll just say voice feedback has been shown too but I'll use different answers. So we're gonna update this question. So we now we got question two. And we'll add one more. And here we'll do a slightly different version of the actual question itself. So we'll call this question three. But now I'll say voice feedback is best for covering broad themes, that's a correct answer. Remember in Canvas, like many learning management systems, you can actually have the system uh, randomize the order in which students see the answers too. And I'll put three answers that aren't correct here and update question. There we go, now we have our three questions. Now we'll go back to quiz, easiest just hit quizzes. Now we're gonna create our quiz. So I'm going to click Quiz, give it a name, and on this first page you just create the settings like shuffle answers, points like that. Won't worry about that because we're more interested in the questions. So we'll go to question part. If you create a question bank or have multiple question banks, then if you click 
find questions. You notice when I click find questions, that question bank I just created is there, voice feedback, and I can just grab it. So if I have multiple question banks on different topics, I can just find those question banks and start picking the questions, put in my quiz. But we're going to do something else here. We're going to use a second function, and in Canvas it's called question group. This function is used to randomize which questions students get. So I'm going to click new question group. And here you probably want to give the group a title that's similar to the title of the quiz bank you pulled it from. So I'm going to call it voice feedback. We will eventually link it to a question bank and it's going to pick as many questions at random as we want. We want to pick one question at random and remember we have three questions in the question bank. So the first student may get the first question, the second may get the second, the third may get the third. So now we're just going to link to a question bank. We're going to link to the voice feedback and we'll select the bank. Since we're only picking one of three questions, so the three different possible questions students can get. And of course, you can do this for as many question groups as you need. So on a quiz where you're going to give students different versions of the same question, you would actually create a question bank for each question. That is, let's imagine you want to give them 10 questions. You would have 10 question groups each question group linked to a different question bank, and each question bank, remember, has multiple versions of the same question. You could also, if you want to randomize questions but they not be the same one, then let's imagine you create a question bank with 20 different questions, and then let's imagine you want students to get 10 of those. You would, again, just create a question group pulling 10 questions from that 20 question bank but then students will get different questions rather than different versions of the same question. To get different versions of the same question, you need one question bank per question with different versions in it and one question group per bank. We'll hit save, but of course we do this for as many questions as we need. The process is similar for different systems, but just different terminology. Thanks.